Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 26th, 2019. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday. What an interesting overnight development we had. Obviously, um, Friday, a very bearish day in the market as um, uh, we lob these tariff bombs back and forth at each other between the U.S. and China. And suddenly, during the night, while we slept, China contacted the U.S. with a willingness to come back to the table and discuss. And the president has come out speaking favorably about a conversation um, uh, of a possible uh, deal that could um, develop um, from the conversation. So interesting how we have suddenly reversed. So overnight, we had this ugly, ugly move where um, U.S. futures were opening down 300 points. And now this morning, we are pushing to the upside. Um, we are, even though the futures are fluctuating still quite wildly this morning, we at this very second are up 242 points in the Dow futures. They were just a few moments ago, only up 170 points. So we're fluctuating all over the place very wildly here this morning as the market tries to come to grips with this new information and what this really means for the market. Now, one of the things that I want to just issue just a little bit of caution out there for everyone. Um, obviously, the market is getting a substantial relief here, um, uh, getting that warm and fuzzy that there may be there may be um, good news here on the trade war that we may finally see an end to this eventually. But I want to caution everyone, an agreement to come back to the table does not necessarily mean a deal. And as we have seen in the past, we agree to come back to the table and those, agree, um, those negotiations fall apart very quickly. So ho hopefully this one is different. Hopefully things are better. But I would caution everyone about chasing into this market this morning. There are still tremendous unknowns. Um, and we're going to have to trade this very, very carefully and expect a substantial amount of volatility um, to be spilled out this morning um, as we try to figure out what all this means. So the good news is we are gapping up and we're gapping up substantially here. But let's keep in mind that even though we are coming back up um, at the open, we are still under substantial technical damage here in our charts. Let's take a look at our, our moving averages and you can see the diamonds having reached that 200 uh, once again. This is a possible now, could turn out to be a possible little tiny head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders if we can follow on through and actually break out of this resistance. But there's a lot of work yet to do before that occurs. So let's kind of keep in mind that we have an awful lot of resistance in this chart that we still have to deal with overall, um, including our 50-day moving average and all of those things. There's a lot of technical damage that must be reversed. But certainly a trade deal could fix that problem. The pro what, we're, what we have, though, is uh, still no certainty that there will be a trade deal, only that we're going to sit down and negotiate again. Nice positive development, but certainly doesn't fix the technical damage that we have in the charts. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also getting a substantial rally back up this morning, uh, bouncing up strongly. Anyone short in this might feel a little bit of pain um, this morning, but let's take a look at our technicals here. If we if we really focus in, we still have an awful lot of damage to recover from. As you can see, getting back up through here, breaking back through that 50-day moving average, and we have a long ways to go before we reach there. Even with this big bounce up, we've got a lot of work yet to do. So don't be surprised to see if we see this move around substantially, whipping up and whipping down, intraday reversing back and forth as we respond to news and developments um, on this um, hopeful, hopeful negotiation. Let's take a look at um, the Q's. Q's also 
bouncing back substantially after breaking down through this support on Friday. We're coming back up into this level right in here, right into some more price resistance here in the chart. As you can see, there's price resistance right through this area. And even if we can push on through there, there are still significant levels of price resistance that we have to deal with as well as whoops, didn't mean to click on that as well as um, our moving average resistances that are above. So a lot of recovery that needs to occur here, a lot of technical damage to uh, to recover from. And that's not going to happen probably overnight. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM uh, desperate desperately needed this this news this morning because it looked like we were really setting up for a massive failure here on IWM even though IWM is still very very sick and still a long ways away from recovering anything um, being in a downtrend for um, this entire year and as you can see gapping up this morning substantially uh, doesn't fix anything in this chart yet. We're still downtrending. We're still underneath significant levels of resistance. We got a lot of work yet to do before IWM comes back around and starts getting very happy. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, we caught that support. If you guys remember, I've been talking about, I really wasn't worried so much about this move. It's a failure or a hold of this support where I was really worried about problems coming into the market. And we certainly spiked up here. And just because we we got this possibility of a trade deal doesn't mean that we're done with this volatility. So any kind of um, hold above this level would be, um, would be uh, that possibility that uh, that next news event could um, raise that fear. So I would expect this morning this volatility uh, reading in here to drop down substantially. But let's keep in mind, as long as we hold this support, we run that risk in here, uh, that nervousness of the market, that next news report reversing us back up. And, you know, if we kind of take a look at the history of this whole thing, um, wouldn't be a big surprise if there's more uh, more tough talk lobbed back and forth between the two countries. So keep that in mind. There's a lot, there's still a lot at stake here with both countries and how they negotiate that and um, is going to be uh, challenging and there could be a lot of tough talk in between. So just kind of keep in mind there could be a lot of big swinging reversals in here. So um, just take that into consideration as you plan your day and even your week forward. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 on Friday was already signal, signaling us that we had reached this bullish reversal zone. So we could have moved on down. Uh, believe me, we can move all the way down into here. But uh, this news this morning should be bouncing us up off of this substantially. We could see a, quite a recovery here in the day. Now, you guys know what I don't like to see is this all or nothing market. Because when we whip, when we completely reverse all the way back up all at once, that just sets up that situation where we've moved too far too fast and then we get that whip back down. So I'd rather see the market you know, come to grips with this, spill out some of this emotion, um, stop this ridiculous all or nothing move. And let's get back to some, some good solid trading. But this morning we're going to see all of that emotion spill out here on the market. And, um, we could push very high uh, really quickly here in T2122 and then find out the next day or the next couple of days that we could reverse it all. So just keep that in mind when we move this quickly, that there's usually a, a response back to the other side. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a little bit to say this morning about what happens with the market. We're expecting a durable goods report that that can certainly move the market around. Now that durable goods report according to the consensus estimates, is that it is expecting a decline in that number. If that were to come in even more uh, bearish, um, 
seeing a substantial move back, that would certainly affect the market sentiment here. So let's kind of keep that in mind. Um, just because we have a negotiation re resuming um, in trade negotiations, we still have an economy that we've got to deal with. And we'll want to watch that number right here at 830 this morning. Um, anything else in here today? I wouldn't expect it to move the market around at all. So just kind of keep that in mind. We have some big things coming out uh, later this week. We have that GDP coming out. Um, and that will be an important number for the market to react to as well. All right. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. I want to wish you uh, great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos, which is every, every single market morning, um, along with a lot of free training videos out there for folks. So please take advantage of that. And if you feel like this video is worth it, then please do me a favor as well and click that um, thumbs up button and leave me a comment. It doesn't have to be much of a comment. Heck, it could be a smiley face. It could be a thumbs up. All of those comments count and helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. So it's really up to you guys. Your, um, the growth of this channel is really up to you guys. I try to do my very best to put out good quality content, but um, if um, it, it really is up to you and I truly appreciate everyone that takes the time uh, to do that. It, 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 it's so humbling to me when so many people respond so favorably to this information. I truly appreciate it. One of the things I really try to avoid, I try to avoid all hype and all, all of that goofiness you see all over um, social media, you know, where they're ranting and raving and predicting where the market's going to go. Um, there's no need in doing that. In fact, it's ridiculous to do that because we, no one knows where the market's going to go. The best we can do is look at the technicals of the chart and plan our day based on good quality decisions around price action. Realizing that today we're likely going to see considerable volatility over here. Um, in this price action. It is a wonderful news, wonderful news that we're going to get back to the negotiation table, but that is not likely going to be an easy or just something that we would expect China to roll over on and say, okay, whatever you want, we'll sign it. Um, I wouldn't expect that. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> so with that, you know, these videos are meant to really focus folks in on how to approach the market for the day to remove that emotion and to look at the chart and see the problems that we still have to deal with the the technicals that we um, still have to uh, have to deal with in a chart um, to plan and successfully um, navigate the market so hopefully you find this helpful F now with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for uh, potential trades. Now, I've been talking about quite a few charts holding up looking very, very good. And a lot of those charts took a hit on Friday, but overall still look pretty darn strong. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. P&G took a hit yesterday, uh, on Friday, pulling back substantially as the market um, ground, uh, you know, pounded everything down. But Procter & Gamble's been holding up in this nice trend um, looking pretty good. It is gapping up this morning. We'll have to watch this and see if it can actually recover this move. But Procter & Gamble has been looking pretty good. Um, big ugly uh, failure here um, on Western Digital on Friday, uh, pushing down with everything else. And I was watching this right in here for that potential as it moved over toward its trend to move on through. Now you can see this morning it is gapping up substantially as well hopefully gapping right back above here. So as that volatility kind of spills itself out, we'll have to watch uh, WDC to see if it can really start picking up and moving forward. If you take a look at, at defensive sector stocks, they also got hit on Friday. Lots of technical damage 
uh, through the charts when these um, defensive sector stocks um, get hit like this. But Coca-Cola bouncing back up this morning. We'll have to watch this closely to see if it can break out of this level and start moving itself higher. So looking, uh, well, there's some challenges here for sure. How about Tyson? Now Tyson barely wiggled on Friday with all of that ugliness in the market. Tyson holding up very, very well, showing a lot of strength. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on Tyson to see if it can move itself on higher from here. We'll want to watch it pretty darn closely. Um, as many as you uh, you know, um, I have, was watching um, Caesars here for a potential failure and um, got that on Friday. But here's the thing. I don't know that I would really trust that this morning. We'll have to wait and see. Um, that could bounce right back up here this morning pretty strongly. Uh, with the market, but Caesars definitely showing that failure on Friday and that continuation of its downtrend. But as we start uh, bouncing around in this market this morning, anything, anything is possible. Take a look at MTCH. MTCH held up really, really well on Friday. Hanging in there nicely. MTCH should be one that is on your list to pay attention to for a potential trade um, hanging in there nicely and please keep in mind everyone every t every video um, I do I, I post out some possible trade ideas but I want you to kind of keep in mind that none of these videos are meant as a buy or sell recommendation in any way shape or form um, they're for evaluation purposes for education purposes um, something that you could put on your watch list uh, watch and study these patterns now, CMG had a, a failure breaking its trend, but notice this morning gapping back up this morning. CMG has been holding up actually pretty darn strong, but let's watch this closely. CMG could be one of those charts that uh, picks itself back up pretty quickly um, overall. Another one that might do that is uh, Starbucks. Starbucks um, ugly sell off here on uh, Friday selling down, but let's notice that it really held on to its price support here overall in the chart. And you can see this morning, Starbucks looking to gap up here, trying to hold that a little bit more. So don't be too surprised if Starbucks kind of reverses itself again, uh, maybe gives us that upside opportunity here in the chart. So lots of good charts out there. Now, to kind of finish this up for the day, I, I wanted to mention really quickly that um, this kind of price action is very, very challenging. And if you're relatively new to trading, this is just, it could be actually completely overwhelming to see these big um, reversals overnight, intraday whipsaws, and things that we've had to deal with here uh, in, in the price action of the charts. So if you're struggling here, I just want to encourage you not to give up. Um, you know, one of the smartest things that that you can do when you're struggling as a trader is um, pick up that that one piece of information uh, that helps you uh, back away from the market a little bit and protect your capital. You know, when we're fighting in a market like this, we truly are trying to fight the market. We're trying to predict which way it's going to go. And there's just really no point. Just look at how simple and easy it is to trade over here in comparison to here. We don't have to fight this market. We can wait for this to settle down. We can wait for a good edge to be recovered in the market and then come back. And I would expect that volatility to remain relatively strong here for a while and, and realize that even though we are coming back to the negotiation table, every one of the tough talk conversations that go out or get tweeted out, um, we can expect an awful lot of volatility. So keep that in mind. And, and just realize since I started this video, Dow futures have declined almost 50 points in, in the Dow futures in that period of time. So we have had, we're having extreme fluctuation back and forth in, in uh, the futures and we can expect that to really kind of move that price action very erratically this morning. Do yourself a, a favor, just 
watch and wait wait for better quality trades wait for the market to settle down and don't get caught up in that oh my gosh i'm missing out because you may be missing out uh, and jumping in at that very next reversal to the to the opposite side so um let this emotion spill out of the market and then there'll be better better trades all right so everyone take care of yourselves have a great day i want to wish you great success and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.